In this video tutorial, I'll introduce you to the concept of Gizmos in AutoCAD 3D. Gizmos are basically used to move, rotate and scale a 3D object. You can find Gizmos in the selection panel. To explain Gizmo, I'll create a box. I'll switch over to Southwest Isometric View. Then I'll click on the box command. I'll pick the first corner here, opposite corner here and hide here. Now if I click on this object, gizmos are not shown. Gizmos will be visible only in the shaded representation. So I'll change the visual style to shaded with edges. Now when I select the object, you can see the gizmo represented as X, Y and Z axis in red, green and blue colors respectively. Presently, you can see the move gizmo. Let's see how to move this object using this gizmo. For that, I'll take the cursor onto the X axis and make a click there. Now the X axis is activated. Now when I move the mouse, you can see that the object will get moved in the X direction. Means its movement is restricted only along the X axis. Now I can give a numeric value or I can pick a point. I'll give a numeric value of say 0.5. Now this box is moved through a distance of 0.5 units in the X direction. Now I'll click on Y axis to activate it and move it in the Y direction. Similarly, I can move it in the Z direction as well. You can rotate this object using the rotate gizmo, which can be obtained either by right clicking at the move gizmo and click on rotate or else you can click on this flyout and click on rotate gizmo. X, Y and Z axis are represented using red, green and blue circles. Suppose if I want to rotate this object about X axis, just click on the red circle and when you move the mouse, you can see the preview of rotation. You can either pick a point or you can give an angle. I'll give 45 and enter. So this object is rotated through an angle of 45 degrees about the X axis. Similarly, you can click on the green circle to rotate it about the Y axis and blue circle to rotate this object about the Z axis. I'll undo this rotation. Now I'll click on this object and I have got the rotate gizmo. When you rotate an object using the rotate gizmo, the center point of these circles will be the pivot point of rotation. But if you want, you can relocate this pivot point to any desired location on the screen. For that, just right click at the gizmo and click on relocate gizmo option. Then you can keep it at any desired location. I would like to keep the center point over here. Just make a pick there. Now, if you rotate this object about the Z axis by clicking on the blue circle, it'll get rotated about that particular pivot point. Likewise, any gizmo can be relocated to any desired location on the screen. Next, I would like to go for the scale gizmo and I'm going to get this gizmo by clicking on this flyout and click on scale gizmo. Now you can take the cursor onto the X axis and when you move the mouse, you can see that it is getting scaled uniformly because it's a 3D solid object. Such solid objects can only be scaled uniformly. Now I'll try to scale a mesh object using the scale gizmo. For that, I'll click on mesh tab and click on mesh box. Pick the first corner here, opposite corner here and I'll pick to define the height. I'll click on this object. Now you can see the scale gizmo here. Now I'll activate the X axis. When I move the mouse, you can see that it is getting scaled about the X axis. Now I'll activate the Y axis and move the mouse. You can see that it is getting scaled along the Y axis. And similarly, you can scale it about the Z axis. Take the cursor onto this triangle over here, make a click there. And when you move the mouse, you can see that you are performing uniform scaling. So for a mesh object, you have more flexibility in scaling. If you find this gizmo distracting, you can turn off the gizmo by clicking on the no gizmo option. Now, if you click on a 3D object in the shaded representation, you won't see the gizmo appearing. But it's always better to use gizmo because it will let you perform these transformations in a more faster and flexible manner in a click of a button. So that's all about the concept and application of gizmo. Until I catch you in another informative video, bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads.
Peace be upon you all.